Hello everyone and welcome to this video on the Python programming language. So in this video I will attempt to build a Dogecoin profit calculator. Now before we begin if you like the videos on the channel then be sure to click that subscribe button and that like button and to be notified about new videos from the channel hit that bell notification. Now with all that being said I'm currently on Google's website it's called colab.research.google.com and I'm on it because it makes it really easy to start programming in Python. So all you have to do is go to this website and then log in using your Google account and get started writing your Python code. So let's get started writing this code by clicking File, then clicking New Notebook, and then a new tab open up for you. And here a new cell open up for you. And I'm going to put in a description about the program. I'm going to put this in comments. And I'm just going to put build, build a Dogecoin profit calculator. Okay. All right. So next I want to create a new cell by clicking that code button in the top left. And I'm going to import some libraries that I plan on using throughout the program. All right, so I'm going to import NumPy as NP, and I'm going to import Pandas as PD. And then I'm going to run this cell by clicking that button here to the left. And looks looks like it's good. So let's go ahead and create a new cell. And now I'm going to load the data. So from google.colab I'm going to import files and I'm just going to type files.upload to upload the data set so let's go ahead and run that choose files and then I'm going to choose this dogecoin.csv file to upload okay let's go ahead and create a new cell and now I'm going to get the stock data so I'm going to create a variable called df set it equal to pd.read underscore csv and I'm going to input the name of that file that I just uploaded, which is dogecoin.csv. And then I'm going to show the data. So I'm just going to type df here and let's run this. All right, looks like I made a mistake somewhere. Let's just come up here. Let's highlight this name, copy using control C, and then come down here and paste using control V. And actually, you know what the problem is? I don't believe I you know everything looks good there okay so let's try that let's give this a run all right there we go so the problem was this space here in the file name okay so here we have our date our high price our low price our open price the close price the volume and the adjusted close price so let's go ahead and set the date as the index. All right, so just type df and set it equal to df dot set underscore index, and then pd dot date time index, and then input the date, and then just type dot values. Okay, and I think that looks good except for this all right let's put that there all right so let's go ahead and run this and now we have the indices as the date all right so let's go ahead and create a new cell and now I want to ask the user the amount of money that they invested and the date that they invested. Okay, so the idea of this calculator is to uh, basically get the date that that you invested into Dogecoin and get the amount, how, how much money did you put into Dogecoin for that date, all right? And then based on that, we're going to calculate how much you would have had for some given date like 5-3-2021 or like 5-6-2021. So we're going to get a, a nice price range as to how much you would have profited or lost for some given date. Okay, so let me go ahead and get back to the code. So I'm going to create a variable called amount underscore invested. I'm going to set this equal to input and we're going to put in enter amount invested in dollars. And that looks good. 
Okay, and then I'm going to print the amount invested. And then I'm going to ask the user to enter the date that they invested. So I'm going to create a variable called invest date. And I'm going to set this equal to input. Enter the date that you invested. Okay, and then I want to print the invested date. Okay, all right, so let's go ahead and let's run this just to kind of test it out. So enter amount invested in dollars. So let's say I put in uh, $35 for that day and I did it for some date like this date here. So I'm just going to highlight it, copy it, use control C and then paste it here, use control V. And there we go. All right. So let's go ahead and create a new cell now that we have captured that data. And let's get the low and the high price for the day that the user invested to get a price range. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to do is create variables to store the low and high high price um, column names. So I'm going to call this call one, set it's equal to low. And then column two, I'm going to set it's equal to high. Okay, so next I'm going to get the low and high price of the asset Dogecoin for the specific day that the user invested. All right, so I'm gonna create a variable called price one. I'm gonna set this equal to DF at column one. And I want to get the invest date, All right? So now I can get the low price for that day. Okay, next I'm gonna create another variable called price two. I'm gonna set it equal to DF column two to get the high price for that invested day. All right, next I'm going to compute the quantity of the asset that the user would have. All right, and that's because I need to use this for a later calculation. So let's create a variable called quantity one and let's set it equal to integer amount um, invested. So I'm just casting amount invested as an integer and I'm gonna divide it by price one. And then I'm gonna get the quantity two. So this is gonna be uh, my second variable, right? But now I'm gonna get it for the high price. So the, the quantity one gives us the quantity amount that we would get for the low price and this quantity two will be the amount that we get for the high price all right so let's go ahead and cast the amount invested as a integer value and let's divide this by price two okay so now that we have the quantity now we can figure out how much this user has profited or lost so I'm going to create a variable called profit. And actually, let me put some comments here. I'm going to put compute the profit range. OK, so now I'm going to create the variable called profit one. And I'm going to set this equal to the quantity one times df call one. And I'm going to get the last the last date in our our um, our index here, or in our I'm sorry in our data set. So I'm going to get the specifically I'm getting the call one is the low price. So I'm getting the last row. I'm getting that low price right here. Okay, so that's what I'm doing with that negative one. Let's go back down here and. Then let's subtract the amount that was invested and cast it to an integer value. And I'm going to do the same thing, but for the high price. So I'm just going to highlight this, copy it using control C, and then paste it using control V, and then change a few things. So I'm going to put two here, 
and two here, and two here. So now we're calculating the the high uh, profit amount. So this will be the low profit. This will be the high profit. All right. So again, we have the low and the high profit now. I think that looks good. Let's go ahead and put a little print statement. So here we're just going to print the range amount that the user would have made or lost. So let's just print you would have made between, I'm going to put a little dollar sign here, and I'm going to round the profit to two places, two decimal places. And I'm going to put another dollar sign here. And we're going to round, and I misspelled round here. All right, so we're going to round profit two. Profit two, and this right here is profit one. Okay, and we're going to do, we're going to round this to two decimal places as well. So I think that looks good. And then let's put a little date here. So I'm going to put as of DF date. And we're going to get that last date. So I'm going to put negative one. I'm sorry, we're going to get that last row of data. So I'm going to put negative one for the last date. And I think that looks good. So let's run this. Okay, so if you had invested $35 on 5-4-2021, it looks like you would have made at most $1.85 as of 5 6 2021 but you also could have lost about about 24 cents. Okay, so let's go ahead and create a new cell. I think that's pretty cool that we can just see that. And now I want to compute the return on investment, also known as ROI. And I want that range, right? So I want to compute the return on investment range. So let's go ahead and create that. I'm going to create a variable called ROT1. I'm going to set this equal to the profit 1 divided by the amount casted as an integer. So that's the amount invested. And then I'm going to multiply it times 100. And I'm going to do the same thing, um, but for the other price, for high price. So that's the return on investment for the low price. And now we're going to do one for the high price. So all I did was just highlight this copy it using control C and then paste it here using control V. And I'm just going to change a few variables here. So we're going to change this to two, change this to two. And I think that looks good. And let's go ahead and print this. So we're going to just print the ROI range. So I'm going to print your return on investment ROI would be between and Let's put round ROT1 to two places. And let's put a little percentage sign there. And let's round. And I misspelled round here. All right, there we go. All right, let's round ROT2 to two places. And then put a little percentage sign there as of, and we're going to put that that date here. So that's DF date at position negative 1. Okay, so let's go ahead and run this. So your return on investment would be between negative 0.7% and 5.28% as of 2021, 5, 6, or May 6. All right, so that's really it. I hope you enjoyed this program. Let's let's run it one more time. Um, let's see if I were to take this date here and invest $100, what will happen? So let's run this. Let's say I invested $100 on on this date, 2014, 9/16, uh, 2014. All right, and then let's run this. Oh, let's run this. There we go. So if I had invested $100 on 9 2014 as of 
May 6, 2021, I would have between 199,966.93 dollars and 244,706.68 dollars. That's crazy. All right, and then let's see the return on investment. Something crazy, some crazy percentage. Yep. So here we can see the two um, ROIs for our investment. All right. So yeah, if you had invested in Doge in 2014, it looks like you would have benefited quite a bit. Well, that's the end of the video. To start an investment portfolio of your own, you can click on the Weeble link below and get two free stocks valued up to $1,850 on Weeble when you deposit $100 or more. And don't forget to grab $10 worth of Bitcoin using the BlockFi link below when you deposit $100 or more. It's basically free money. And thanks for watching. And thank you to the supporters supporting this channel on Patreon.com. If you want to become a supporter of Patreon.com, I will leave a link below in the description for that as well. And I hope you all have a wonderful, fantastic day, and I'll see you in the next video.